Hello there guys and welcome back to the Schalke career mode. If you're watching this, it means I've fixed my Elgato problem that I've had with the whole skipping this and the broken lag. But hopefully it's fixed and hopefully this whole episode can be recorded without any problems and future episodes can also be recorded without any problems. We are still in the transfer window. We have just signed Samuel Titi at centre-back and we still have around £24 million to spend this window. I'm going to start advancing forward. I had some suggestions from uh, from certain people in the comments, and we'll see what we can get going. Um, and my top about twenty two and a half million. This was uh, from the uh, the centre back inquiries. They still want thirty million for Mark Bartra, twenty two for top rack. We don't particularly need another centre back at twenty two million. He would come in and be first team. We'd have a ton of good centre backs. Then we are only playing three at the back at the moment. Uh, for the moment, though, I'm just going to leave this deal. Do not want to uh, do not want to get into things there. I'm going to keep advancing forward. And I've gone for this guy, Sebastian Haller, 18 and a half million. Now, if you are a regular to my streams, you'll know who this guy is. He was a, a suggestion that got away, and I, I wanted to use him. He looks like a very good player, and I just I want to I want to use him. I want to see what he's like on FIFA. So we're going to try and get him this window. He is a striker. Origi is currently injured, but Huntelaar um, and Augustin are our backups. Huntelaar has been wanting to leave the club, so I was thinking bring Haller in. And uh, maybe try and move Huntelaar on. Or if Huntelaar doesn't move on, we have two extremely good backups at striker. So that's the uh, that's the thinking behind this move as we advance towards the start of the season. Being offered the uh, the Chilean manager's job. We're not interested in that right now. Let's keep going forward in the calendar. Three emails through. A transfer offer for Leon Goretzka. Trex have actually accepted £50 million. Pounds. And Haller's got £30 million accepted from Munching Gladbach. Um, so we've paid £2 million more. Pound. This happened in the uh, the stream series, though, where we uh, we had a bigger bid than I think it was Dortmund who came in for him, and he moved to Dortmund anyway. So we'll hope we can secure this deal. I think we're the bigger team compared to uh, Munching Gladbach. It's a tight one, though. The two very big clubs in Germany, he would have his pick. Hopefully... He decides to choose us. Leon Goretzka, 19.5 million from Spurs. He's uh, worth 22, our centre midfielder. Um, he was very good for us last season. He is one of our influential players. It will be a shame to lose him. Uh, we'll ask for 35 million. Um, we could definitely go and get another good centre mid for, for that money. We'll counter off of that. Leon Goretzka, he's only 22, still growing as a footballer. And has, uh, has good potential. But let's see if Spurs will, will match. Our evaluation of the player as we sim forward. Hopefully the Sebastian Haller deal can be completed. Um, Leon Goretzka is not worth how much. That's fine by us. Also in talks with Hamburg. Another £30 million per bid for Haller. So we've actually paid £2 million more than anybody else has offered so far. It's whether or not the Haller accepts to come to us. And he does. There we go. Contract accepted. Sebastian Haller. Twenty-five grand a game. We still have nine million to spend, and possibly Huntelaar to move on. Sebastian Haller will sign for Schalke, and uh, that's a big money move up front. We could now go and look to improve the centre of the park. I mean, we already have very, very good players, um, but some great signings already this season. And City, uh, Kingsley Coman, and now where is he? And now. Sebastian Haller, 79 rated. He is uh, currently fatigued. He must have just played a game for his club. But 79 rated. He is the same rating as Huntelaar. Two very good backups there at the moment. So uh, we'll see how it goes. He'll probably start if Origi isn't back for the first game of the season. But there we go. That's the uh, the next signing. Um, so I'm going to go do some, some transfer stuff. And I'll get back to you if anything happens. Okay, so we have been doing some business. And we have two players with contracts accepted. These two players are Bobby Wood. He is an American striker from Hamburg. We're swapping Huntelaar plus 5 million, which is a lot of money. But I think it'll be worth it. He, again, will play a nice backup role for us. And now we have healthy competition up front. We're also going to bring back Nabil Benslip. He was on loan last season. He's 22, 72 rated defensive midfielder. He was very good for us as a backup player. So he can come in and play that backup role again for us in the middle. And that's going to be another very good signing. Eight million pound. We still have six million around about. So we should be uh, able to make maybe one or two more 
back up moves so we can save that money for the next transfer window and finally we reach our first game of the season we are going to be taking old Freiburg away from home so let's get into it Here's how we line up then. Donnarumma starts in goal. We have Naldo at centre-back with Umtiti and Koke either side of him. Nine, Golan and Goretzka in the middle. Kingsley Coma makes a competitive debut on the left-hand side. Max Meyer is at camp. Bernardo Silva on the right. Angel Correa starts up front with Sebastian Haller today. Bobby Wood is on the bench. Origi still has a slight knock and I don't want to risk him. Well, we don't have to risk him. So here's how we line up. Koke did well. He can now find Max Meyer. Angel Correa. Gets away with that one. It's going to find Leon Goretzka off the post. First big chance of the game. Clarence goes as far as Kingsley Coman, who can't get it back into the box. Corner for Freiburg. 22 minutes of the game gone. Nelson's whip in. It's going to go all the way through. Leon Goretzka's there. And now here's Max Meyer. You can find Angol Correa. It looks to find Sebastian Haller. Who gets a, a little bit lucky there with a the torch. And his pass can then find Max Meyer. Correa's going around him. He's going to find Angol Correa. Chance here. Rango Correa, and he gets off to the perfect start this season. A wonderful finish from Angel Correa. The competition of strikers this season is going to have to make him even better than he was last season. And he starts off with a very good goal, 1-0. Koke into Max Meyer. Now Correa, back to Max Meyer again. Has to get through, but Mike and hits it. It's going to be a corner if it goes out of play. Ball will be delivered into the front post. Correa's there. Correa's bicycle effort. It's saved and cleared away. Sebastian Haller wins that header nicely. He can flick it down in the Kingsley Coman. Them two have had quiet debuts so far. Coman may be looking to spark in a life here, though. It's Kingsley Coman. He cuts inside nicely. And Coman strikes deflected. Bernardo Silva turns it back into Correa, who scores. Bernardo Silva did not have to keep that ball in play. He could have just let it run for a corner. We kept the ball in the danger area. And Angel Carrera has his second of the day. Bernardo Silva's throwing. Could find nine. Gollan. Cross is blocked. It's Max Meyer. It's Angel Correa. And it's a third for Correa. Unbelievable start to the season for Angel Correa. The competition has drove this guy to different levels. Look at this for a finish. To touch it and bangs it into the bottom corner. Pick that one out. Angel Correa has had an unbelievable start. Maybe chance for a late consolation goal here for Freiburg from this corner kick. And it comes towards the heads. Flicked on. It's hit Goretzka. And Titi turns it back into the area. Now, though, gets up. And it's a good header. It's going to fall still in the box. And it is tapped in. Freiburg do have their goal. That's a shame. We, we deserved a clean sheet here today, I think. Just an absolute mess later on. Lots of Freiburg players in there. Surely he's offside. Look look where he is. Flag stays down. A Freiburg have a goal. Freiburg's throwing. Might be still chance in this game for Freiburg. But Bernardo Silva closes it down well. And here's Angel Correa. You can find a chance here for Sebastian Haller. Only one man to beat here. Haller. He has a man square. It's still Sebastian Haller. Still Haller. Can he get a chance? So Cole. Haller with a chance. It's a good save. And it's going to be cleared away. Full-time whistle has gone. We have won this game by three goals to one. Great performance from Angel Correa. It just smashed in absolutely everything. Too bad we could not keep the clean sheet today, though. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you, as always, for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one very soon.